so good to see you, Marina. And I know it's a, it's a really, really tough one. Of course it is. But very important to you to get this message across. Really, really important. Yeah. This, Tommy's has done amazing research and we now know that sleeping on your side when you're in your final trimester, going to sleep on your side, could actually um, really decrease your risk of, of having a stillbirth. It's pretty rare anyway, so it's not something that women need to worry about sure. excessively. But knowing that you need to be going to sleep on your side. If you wake up on your back, it doesn't matter. We know that the going to sleep position is by far the most important. Mm, right, okay, so this is on your side. To be honest with you, I know it was a long time ago, but I do remember that I kind of slept on my side anyway. You know, by the time you get to that stage, and sometimes I put a little pillow as well, because I was huge. Yeah. Um, but I, I did that anyway. I think a lot of women do. What, what I'd be worried about is maybe women feeling, if, if this has happened to them, that they'll get worried and feel a bit guilty, maybe? If they if they wake yeah. up on their back. Yeah. And that's why it's really important to, to listen to the research and to sure. actually read the study. I've actually recorded a podcast. Um, it's The Parenthood is my podcast, sure. where we have a bit more of a discussion about the importance and just reiterating that if you wake up on your back, the likelihood is you've done absolutely nothing wrong. Don't stress. Turn right. around, go back to sleep on your side, and you'll be absolutely fine. OK, Hills, what do you think about this? Is it good advice? Yes, it is. I mean, yeah. four studies have consistently shown in different countries that this is uh, the best thing to do. But this is new research, and as you've just say, said, no woman who's ever had the devastation of a still, stillbirth should think back and say, I didn't do the right thing. This is new. We didn't know this before. Right. But these studies show that by sleeping on your side, you reduce the risk considerably. And, and perhaps if everybody in the last third of pregnancy slept on their side most of the time when, mm. when they when they wake up mm. or just turn onto your side that it will reduce the the stillbirth rate by about 3.7 percent wow. which is significant and it's such a small thing to do you know there's no yeah, you don't have to take any medication or you don't have to change your yeah. lifestyle no, you absolutely. just have to change the way you we don't really know why right. uh, it's true there are a couple of theories one theory is that when the weight of the baby and and the placenta in the womb is on your front, mm. uh, it's compressing the maternal arteries, which are supplying the placenta ah, okay. and could reduce oxygenation to the baby. Right. Another theory is that if a mother is sleeping on her back, she's more likely to get some sleep apnea, uh, some breathing difficulties, which can in turn mm. affect oxygenation. So we don't really know why, but the findings are pretty consistent. Yeah, and it seems like, it actually does seem like common sense. And, and it's true during the day as well. If you're having a nap during the day, turn yes. on your side, put a pillow behind you. Right. If you wake up and you're on your... On, I can on, hear on women back. howling with laughter and saying, nap during the day, <laughs> Dr. Ellie <Tony> Jones. <laughs> well, if it's the first one, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's if it's your first, maybe. Yeah, yeah but maybe probably, probably not after that, yeah. that's for sure.